Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with the Adventures of the Memory Makers. It's been a marathon modification day here today on the, the hillside. The, um, we, if you follow our channel, um, and if you don't, please think about following our channel. But if you follow it, you know that our last video was where we put a hot water heater on the side of the camper. And you know, it doesn't take much thought to think that's probably gonna lead into being able to take showers with the water in the camper. So we have had ordered now twice a kick-ass shower room with the matching floor. And for some reason, we just can't get it. So it's actually shipped. UPS says it's delayed somewhere over in California right now. It's not gonna get here until after we leave for our, our trip to Maine. So, you know, I got this water heater now on the side of the camper and nowhere to really utilize it. So today driving back, you know, I just got to thinking about it and I was like, well, why can't I make my own? So, you know, I went back, turned around, got some things I needed, came back and I spent the last six hours out here with my sewing machine in the front yard, whipping up a, basically a multi-purpose room for us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we had discussed, Cindy and I, behind the camera right now, how we, would grow, how we were going to use that kick-ass room once we got it. And that room, if you are familiar with it, is enclosed on four sides, plus the deluxe that we ordered has a roll-out roof. So we thought, you know, if we're traveling and we're just spending one night somewhere on the road, instead of breaking out the ARB room and having that to use for nighttime um, bathroom applications, changing clothes, you know, that type of stuff, you know, we could just use that, it's essentially about a four foot by four foot kick-ass room on the side and utilize that for a quick stop and go overnight. We'd have room for our porta potty outside. We could change clothes. You know, it would just be very handy without having to break out everything else. But it's not here. So I had to utilize what we have. So we have awnings on both sides and I got to thinking about how I have used PVC fittings to snap onto those awning tubes and then the gears just got turning in my head and one thing led to another and we've got something to show you. <laughs> so we're gonna let Cindy lead us around the camper and show us what we've actually done today. And just remember when you look at this, that this is temporary. <laughs> this is basically for one trip, <laughs> but that said, it's pretty slick. So others may want to copy this and you know, by all means, feel free to. I'll, I'll put as much information in the description that I can for the, the parts that I used. This is very simple, very crude, very elementary. Um, but I think some of it, if you follow the channel, is going to be familiar to you when you see what I did. So let me grab the camera. We'll follow Cindy around and let her uh, show us what this little creation is. So when Sam and I decided that we were gonna get a teardrop, I campaigned very hard for a teardrop with a toilet, so a toilet and a shower in it. And he was a hard limit, no, I don't want that extra height, I don't want that extra weight, uh, we're gonna be going over mountains, I wanna take it off road. So, like any smart woman, I knew when the dog was dead, the horse had been beaten, I wasn't going to win. There's so many reasons I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave up on the idea, but I did say to him, okay, if we can't have a choilette, then I want a, a separate little potty room. We got two doors on this thing. Why can't one side be for a little potty room and the other side be for the ARB awning room and so and so? Because then I didn't want people seeing that potty out in our living space. Well, he doesn't remember this, but he poo pooed that idea, poo pooed that idea uh, also. <laughs> And so I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna table that for right now, and we can come, we can revisit that after things kind of settle down and he gets what he wants. So um, I did notice, and you may not have noticed this, but did you notice that when someone looked at the room at the boil, they said, oh, there's your potty. So you may not remember that they mentioned that, but there I- There was a lot going on. Yeah. Well, I remembered. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, when you started talking about, and I was campaigning again for this little extra room, um, and you were more 
acceptable to that idea, more accepting of that idea. And it's I amazing thought, what hot water does to a guy. It is. <laughs> it is. And I thought, check. I think I'm going to get my little potty room. So um, here it is. Without further ado. Without further ado, <laughs> here is our, can I just say what it is? Let's just say it. It's our redneck shower room or our <laughs> redneck potty room, whichever you want to call it. Complete with a camo, uh, what do you call it? Not a, uh, not a shower curtain, but a camo. Oh, it's a tarp. It's a tarp, <laughs> right. We complete with our camo Harbor Freight top. Now I use camouflage because I didn't want anybody to see it. <laughs> and you really can't, it blends in nicely. Uh huh. All I can say is I never thought in a million years that I would be camping <laughs> this way, but you know what, go with the flow. And I think when we get old and gray, or older and grayer we're going to look back on this and say remember when we did such and such and we're going to laugh and it's going to bring smiles to our faces so it's all going to work out and i also think this if uh we can be on a budget and we can go to more places have more adventures do more things i'd much rather do that and have a redneck shower room than not be able to go to as many places and it cost us more money so now There's remember, this is temporary. This is temporary. Unless you fall in love with it, in which time, in which case we can return the four hundred and thirty-nine dollar kick-ass shower room and matching floor. Uh, yeah, we probably could. Let's <laughs> let's wait and see what that entails whenever it gets. Let's here. see if it survives ten days on the road. TBD. There we go. Okay. All right. So take us through and show it off. Okay. So my step is gone. So I gotta kind of. Now hike. why is your step gone? I don't know. Why is my step gone? Nice. You mean this, the one that's connected here? Yeah. Because of the ARB awning room. Yeah. Now you do have a step. I know. I don't know where it is. It it's been in, put away. It was in the camper. Yeah. Well, it's gone now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we are. And what's going to be great about this is I usually sleep on this side and Sam's on this side and I have to crawl over him to get out in the middle of the night. I thought you were just trying to cuddle. <laughs> No, I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. So here is our redneck camo Harbor Freight tarp. This is going to be hard to get in camera because it's only a four foot by four foot area. But I, I really like to call it the multi-purpose room because you can change in here. You, That's true. You can go to the potty in here. Yeah. And if we can see it, there's our shower head right there. And... You know, unless it's like 30 degrees, I think it'll be very comfortable to oh, yeah. take a shower in here. I don't think it'll be bad at all. And one of the things that I was, you thought I was crazy and maybe kind of being a princess, but I wanted this, the bottom of it, to be close to the ground. Yeah. I didn't want it to end like here. And that way people, if we do use it in a campground, uh, I don't want people to see my feet and my shins and water dripping down because they're all going to know what I'm doing. Or worse, they, just gave me a visual. If they just see my feet and you know it looks like I'm in a sitting position. Okay, that's TMI. Yeah, let's just leave but, that one go. Yeah, let's. We don't need a visual on that. But I can, with a stretch, I can reach the shower wand and. I got, you know, I can take a shower in here. It's got enough hose. I can do that and it'll be fine. And um, I'm not done working on that. It, it just got late and I stuck that up over. So we'll, we'll rig something up to hold the shower down for you. But, yeah. Well, I don't think it's bad. I okay. mean, I think it'll be okay. No. And I really think I can wash my hair in here. Oh, and yeah. that's my biggest fear. I, I don't want to go camping with greasy hair. Okay. Well, so you hop out let me go out there with the camera and uh, show everybody what it looks like on the inside okay and then we'll go outside and i'll show you what we did yeah to show this. everybody how you made it what you were doing yeah so i'm glad we live in the country and we're surrounded by trees because <laughs> <laughs> if we lived in an hoa can you just imagine oh, I'd be, we'd be kicked out <laughs> a long time ago yeah, yeah. There, we would not be accepted if we had to be in a community where we're voted in <laughs> yeah. Unless it was a community of bushwhackers. You know. <laughs> then that'd be okay. Yeah, everybody had me over at night working on their camper. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, let's show the outside. All right, let me hop out there real quick and then uh, we'll okay. go outside from there. I'll go beside you. Yeah. So, like I said, first of all, this is temporary. This is for one trip. And 
but saying that this is essentially how we're going to set our kick-ass room up when it finally shows up and if you've watched the, some of the previous videos and you've seen the one on the ARB annex room modification I essentially duplicated that on this side of the camper I added the gutter board down here so I could get my uh, rubber gutter material to go all the way around the door and then I put my stretch cord inside of my tarp sewed that in but I literally did not measure anything on this project it was just how fast can I get this done and get on with my life but that said this is really slick I did cut out the opening here for the light to shine through um, and like I said I just cut it out I didn't seam it or hem it or anything um, but essentially what I've done is I've used the structure of and this is a Napa maxi track awning on this side of the camper but I used the initial structure of the sidearm right here to hang shower curtain hooks on and then I shortened up my tarp added these grommets in there and then when it came to making the other side I used one inch white PVC and these are T fittings that I literally cut just a little above half and they will actually snap on to this this tube right here so that point there is anchored there and then I came over here and Lowe's carries this fitting and I'll show you better on the outside but it's essentially a corner T fitting for lack of better terms it it's got a 90 degree fitting but then it's got a takeoff on the bottom and then I continued my PVC on around there you'll see my shower head up there I got a 90 degree fitting right here and that actually goes right in that extrusion on the Napa maxi track it actually holds it pretty solid I mean it's amazing how sturdy this is and then I continued back over here and in this corner I've got another T and it slides all the way up onto the the hinge point right there so essentially I've got a four foot by four foot room that is like six and a half feet tall and I gave myself about four inches of clearance down here on the ground and tomorrow I'm going to go and get some uh, I think some of those foam squares that lock together with the little finger tabs and create us a floor in here so that's not just dirt and then when we get ready to go we can just wash those off with our water hose so let's uh, go outside and I'll take this apart and show you what this is because it is super super simple so here on the outside <laughs> you can see it's camouflage and there's a reason for that did I mention this is temporary <laughs> so when I get to Harbor Freight today these are on sale I got these for four dollars and 99 cents it cut my tarp budget in more than half so for one trip I kind of like the camouflage you can't even really see it you gotta look to even see the darn thing <laughs> Cindy pulled up the driveway while I was working on it and she's like well I thought you were doing something I was like it's right there but you couldn't see it whatever <laughs> not that good at camouflage <laughs> not that good yeah well it was a thought so anyway like I said uh, I, I did get fancy on the the shower curtain hangers because they were the only ones that were kind of in an S hook shape and they cost me nine bucks so I'm just going over it in my head here how much I actually have in this setup right now so I got ten dollars in tarps I got nine dollars let's say ten dollars in, in these hooks um, I do have twenty dollars give or take in another one of these poles I already had one of these for the sidearm support for our ARB awning so I just swiped that um, so twenty dollars for a pole if you did this and you didn't have these you'd be looking at another twenty dollars for two poles uh, the PVC pipe I had laying around you know $10 in fittings so I'm going to say less than $60 and we got ourselves in a multi-purpose room you know you can shower you can well the other S <laughs> you, you can change your clothes <laughs> you can hide from your your spouse if you want to because they're not going to look in there <laughs> I mean it's just they're not going to want to probably this has probably been one of the funnest mods I've done to this this goofy camper because I have laughed all day you know I don't know if it's the camo or just the concept or the fact that it was staring me in the face the whole time and it just finally hit me like you idiot make your own <laughs> so how about I just take the darn thing off and we'll just go backwards from there and I think that's a good idea okay so we got four of these tie down straps and I just these were some leftover I think that was from a holster I'd worked on at some point so I had some nylon left over and those just anchor the corners keep it from flapping around and this is the first time I've taken it down so I did pinch the S's tight to my tarp so that I don't lose these hooks because the first time I put it up I was kind of chasing them around so they just unhook off of these and 
And this just merely pulls off the track, just like the ARB room does. I bet that's really crinkly in the microphones. <laughs> mm, probably. And that's it. So we can just pile that up right there. Now that did take the longest of the whole deal because I had to cut four strips out, then cut them lengthwise to size. And there is a taper because of the slope of the roof. So that- Did you match the pattern on the camo so that it was one continuous camo pattern? Seriously. <laughs> Just check it. <laughs> you had to ask. <laughs> of course I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what took so long. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, like I said, I started off by doing the ARB door modification. So this is identical to what we do in the video. It's identical to what we did on the other side. We've got the rubber track, which this is a piece of it right here. It's a rubber gutter track to go around windows. And it comes with a 3M tape on the back side. But I think this stuff's so old by the time you get it, that 3M tape, while it's stuck really well to this material, it will not stick to your door frame. So I use Gorilla Double Face Tape underneath this along all the edges all the way around and it has locked it on. The other side has been on there almost a year now and it, it has no problems. The key to this working though is this board right here. And I make this out of a, a polyvinyl board so I don't have to worry about rot. You know, it, it's, it's just great stuff. So I put an edge on it to back up this gutter material because the only stress points or the only points in this whole system that have any tension pulling against them are the four corners. So the upper two corners are the metal track that comes with the camper, but these two down here, it actually pulls against that board. So you get a nice, tight, you know, strong bond right there, and it works so well. I mean- Now I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, if I were, um, God forbid, if I were on my own and I had to make, try and make one of these, what kind of saw did you use for that? Okay, so this comes five and a half inches wide, three quarter inches thick of material. So I ripped it down on the table saw to get it down to the height I need for this, four and a half inches. And then I used my band saw to cut these corners. I used a router table to actually route the edge because there's a step down about three eighths of an inch for this to go down into. So it does require some materials like me. Yeah. So it's not something that you're gonna whip out with a hand saw and a pocket knife, but it, it is doable to okay. make. And so if I knew someone that was a carpenter or someone who dabbled definitely. in woodworking, they'd yeah. have those. And, and I've made several of those and sent them out to owners who didn't have the, the capability okay. or, the, or the equipment to do it. Um, so you know okay. that is an option as well. But once you have that down, you know, and then it gets screwed solid to the, the actual structure of the, of the camper. There's aluminum tubing going down on both sides of the door. There's aluminum tube down here. So that, that gets mounted very solid to the camper. So that's there, that's permanent now. Okay. I removed the step because that was gonna get in the way of our shower room, just like I did on our ARB room. Mm -hmm. And now we have a gutter track all the way around the door. Great. And that's what, that's the key to this whole thing working. So, you know, like I said, I already had that knowledge. I already had the material in hand. So I just whipped that out, put that on there. And then it was off to the races to get that cover sewn up. The frame, I don't think it took me 10 minutes to make this frame. So like I was saying, if you've seen our past videos, we have a video showing how we make these uh, telescoping uh, support poles for these sidearms on ARB and, and all the, the brands, Iron Man. This is the Napa Maxi Track. I don't know who was first. I don't know if ARB was first or Iron Man was first, but they got cloned because these, I've seen a Thule or Thule or however you pronounce that, they're all identical. You know, other than the fact that the difference on this Napa Maxi Track versus our ARB is that extrusion is a lot thinner. It's probably half the thickness of what the ARB extrusion is. But once you stick this pole in here and this, you know, just like I showed in the video, this is a three quarter inch CPVCT that I just merely slice right above the halfway point. And it will, it's a tight fit. It, it kind of snaps up on there. You can see it hanging right there. So at that point, I just kind of square it up, extend it down, get some upward pressure on it. And that is, that's tight now. And you aren't gonna bend this pole as long as you keep, you know, 50 gallons of water off the roof of it. So that took care of that corner support. And then I used, this is, this is funny. I didn't even plan on this. This kind of worked out. Um, shower over there so I used another long arm pole just like that one but I didn't cut off the um, the threaded part because okay <laughs> so 
as you can see the end is still threaded so this is a i believe one inch one inch 90 with this i think it's a half inch uh, takeoff right here in the corner and i'll put the the link to lowe's because they're the ones that actually carried this part and while i was standing in the store i was looking at that hole and i was looking at that end i was like i wonder if there's any chance of thread in the threads are different but they're both plastic and it actually threads right up into that well what do you know oh it's amazing so there you go you got your two corner points out here this is extremely solid now coming down to the ground again this is just one inch uh, pvc pipe over here i used a one inch pvc 90 you know straight into this track and it, it's a snug fit just slides right in there and then here on this side here what i did was another take it out here weasel that off so you can see how tight that snaps on there so i actually slide this up as far as i can onto this uh, metal hinge point right here and that's one of the differences again between the napa maxi track and the arb whereas this is metal on the napa on the arb it is nylon and originally i thought the nap the the metal hinge point was really slick but what that does is it actually twists this whole extrusion when you're putting the awning up and you've got that pole hanging out there whereas on the arb this nylon part here acts as a hinge and allows that arm to hang down without stressing this extrusion this works fine it's just you don't want to be hanging you know a lot of weight on that and more importantly when you go to drop a corner in a heavy rain you want to be careful how far you drop it because you're actually twisting this whole extrusion right here but for this application this works fine so this snaps on you hear that click i did i mean it's it's a tight fit and then this just slides right in there like that and you have your frame for your redneck multi-purpose shower room so all you have to do is just put your hooks on it and you're good to go there you go you know i would start off on this wall here and we'll just put it back on there It's not the stand up while you're trying to do it. There you go. So that hooks. You know what? I love that you've cut out a hole for the light. <laughs> you seem kind of concerned about that whole light thing, so uh, I, uh, I went ahead and well, cut. Well, if we're in the woods and there's no moon, I'm thinking it might be kind of dark. I don't want to miss my target. <laughs> End up on the ground. <laughs> Especially if it's wet and cold. Yeah, there you go. So, yep, you got that. So then. This just goes in the gutter track. Probably can't see because I'm in the hole right now yeah, with this. Yeah, I can't see. Yep, so this snaps on here like that. So you can see that's on there. This is kind of like working with a, a like a crankbait with treble hooks. <laughs> I thought that was a good idea when I did that, but uh, I'm not so sure. At least I'm not chasing my hook. So just go around, hook that up. Work your way around, get your hooks hanging. Then just hook your corners down. And there you go. I mean, it's about as goofy looking as goofy can be. It was cheap. It's going to serve the purpose. Like I said, if it survives 10 days, no more room than it takes up, we might keep it in the camper permanently. But once the, the kick-ass room gets here, then we'll have a video out of how we modify it to do a similar thing. The big difference between the kick-ass room and this is we won't have to have this awning out in order to use the kick-ass room because it has its own arms. It swings out by itself. It's got the roof that rolls out. So really our, our original intention of being able to have an enclosed area, you know, for multi-purpose use for a one night stay, you know, just a hit and run, you know, next year we plan on going out west, spending the month on the road. So there's probably gonna be several nights where we're just traveling, you know, we pull in late, we just want a, a place where we can use the bathroom, change our clothes, that will be the ticket. But for this trip, we don't have it. We've got the shower, you know, the water heater, so I wanted to be able to use it. So this was my way to be able to do that for a minimal amount of expense, and it's been fun. Yeah. I think it'll be great. I mean, I know the jury's out. We, we haven't used it yet, but I think the convenience of it will be very, very nice. 
Now, if you remember before we started this video, I asked if you wanted to take a shower in the room, <laughs> then I would commentate from the outside. The offer still stands. Uh, hard limit, no. <sighs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll give an update from the road because we're going to film some of our trip. Um, we're going to be gone, uh, what, nine, ten days? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going from southern Indiana here to Vermont to Maine to Acadia National Park and what's the name of the mountain, Cadillac Mountain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then back down the coast. Um, so through New York, be in the Catskills, going to be visiting with Brian Smith, the DIY Outdoor Life. So, um, so we're gonna bring you along, share some of this trip, and uh, you know, hopefully it all goes well. I hope this actually works somewhat the way I had planned. <laughs> yeah, we may have like a thousand, fifteen hundred pictures we can show them. <laughs> <laughs> Get the popcorn ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're not gonna be interested in that. Yeah, but just wanted to share this. You know, there are a lot of people that have awnings. You know, a lot of people that want a simple room that they can get in, change clothes, use the bathroom. You know, take a shower. You know. If, if you're kind of handy and you want to give it a go, 60 bucks and you're on the road. Couldn't you do it also without the um, adaptation to, I know it wouldn't be nearly as nice, but without the adaptation to the door, could you not just uh, you could, yeah, do you, a curtain? Like You could probably even seam it right down the middle if you wanted to yeah. or off to the side. You know, okay. It would be kind of hard though with your, your door. I mean, it, People get scared when they see that whole ARB door modification thing. Yeah, it's intimidating. It's super simple. You know, like I said, I'll make the boards. I've sent, gosh, I don't know, I'll probably close to 30 boards I've sent out mm -hmm. to different people. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not a big deal. You know, I've got a form with pictures and measurements. You know, you send me your measurements, I send you a board. You know, and I, I think that sometimes people um, are apprehensive um, getting started, but then once they do it, you know what, if you make a mistake and you have to start over, you're not really out that much money. I found that for myself that if I think long and hard about something before I start it, it's harder to start. I, I just would agree with that. I just jump in with both feet. I figure it out as I go. Yeah. I, I really wanted to kind of film this today as a, a process mm -hmm. uh, because it was on the fly. I mean, changes mm -hmm. were being made, you know, every second. But for me to film it, you were gone. So for me to my have fault. no. I didn't say that. I, just, <laughs> I didn't have a camera person available. And for me to have filmed what I did while I was trying to think on the fly, this would have been a four-day project yeah. in, instead of a, a five-hour project. So, um, But it was fun. You know, How I, many hours did you have in making this? So two, three o'clock, about five hours, five and a half okay. hours. So. That, that is not including driving to... Uh, Lowe's and getting what you needed yeah. and Harbor Freight and stuff. Yeah, okay. so that was in my morning, you know, errand run deal. But mm -hmm. they, um, so yeah, if you want to include that, you know, you're probably looking at a day's time to do this. And mm -hmm. you know, and I, I seriously doubt that very many people do this. I just want to share the fact that it is doable. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, it's going to work, I think, very well for what we're going to use it for. Um, you know, and then like I said, once that room arrives and we get back and we, we get everything together. Um, we're going to modify that room just like I did this. You know, we're going to attach it to the side of the camper just like the ARB room does, and it'll be its own self contained room. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this actually helps someone out. If nothing else, I hope it made you smile. It, it's made me smile all day. So, you know, we'll have more videos coming out, you know, as we go on our trip. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how that kick ass room mounts and, you know, how it's all self contained, you know, hit that subscribe button. You know, once that video comes out, you know, if you got the bell, click it. You know, you'll know when that video is out and you can check that out as well. And I think it's going to be a really slick deal, you know, to be in by itself without having to have the awning up. So, yeah. so please come back, check that out once it's up. Thanks again. And we'll see you on the next video. See you soon.